Okay, so today we're going to be talking about eBand.net, okay? E-B-A-N-N-E-D. Let's go there. eBand.net is a fetish item auction site. Anybody that's over 18 can join. Something I want you to keep in mind before you sign up. Create your name, your stage name. It's not your real name. If you want to use your real name, I wouldn't advise it ever in life. But let, let's let make sure, though, that you really like this fucking name. I want you to write it out a couple times. I want you to type it, call yourself it in the mirror, because if you end up hating this name it could possibly follow you for the next 10 years like it did me you know this isn't yeah kinsley king if that's your actual name i'm very sorry but i don't know what i was thinking nikki new hope on the other hand where i used the formula of the first street you grew up on and the first pet you ever had you just happen to be something fun and stuck see and the reason that i have two different names one name for this site and it was a different name before but then i got locked out because of a crazy ex that, you know anyway so then i had to make a new handle kind of king whatever i have them two separate names because they're two separate identities because on nikki new hope's side of the road she's an escort okay that means many a man can pay for her services or her time or her company and and uh all it takes is money the woman can be bought well people on eBand.net, customers on eBand.net kind of are after the virgin, the trophy wife that, you know, has an alpha husband and she doesn't want you. You're such a loser. Women that would blackmail you but would not have sex with you. You know, Catholic school girl, nun, what, whatever. But unobtainable women. And also, I want that unobtainable woman to be confident and fucking full of herself. And if you aren't, that's okay because she is. So, after you've got the name thing done, and the sign up done and it's emailed you and you log in and you go to the home page i want you to notice something in that middle section it's going to say featured auctions and featured sellers do you want to know how you have to get there you have to pay like 20 fucking dollars we're not going to do that because that's ridiculous because this is a fetish item auction site and People on fetish item auction sites are looking for something specific most of the time to where they're probably going to use a search bar, more likely to click on the category sections, the specific category that they're interested in, rather than just going with whatever is on the featured section of the front page. Like, it doesn't work like that. With escorts, fine. Try to pay money to get on the front page because men with boners are even stupider than men regularly. Sorry to any of you that are men. <laughs> Not you specifically, but it was a generalization. You happen to be the exception to the rule, so go you. So I just wouldn't pay that extra money. So now um, on the left-hand side, obviously, is categories. There you go. It's a pretty clear indication of the dominant categories. And and you can poke around in any of those if you one you know happens to tickle your fancy more than the rest. Just see what it's about. I suggest looking around a while before you dive in head first and that goes for fucking absolutely anything <clears throat> but i'm going to have you direct you specifically and first off to the to the link that says hottest items it's in that box underneath the categories on the left hand side those items will all sell because they've all been bid on that's why they're on the hottest items section so all of those should stand out to you and basically try to poke around in those and see what they're doing you know and that i mean i i keep that same attitude for every part of sex work i think that you should absolutely find your sex work idol that and it can't be me because i'm just too lackadaisical and i don't have any schedule and i'm just really lazy about everything um somebody that's super motivated and and is very active in whatever platform you're trying to um dominate i guess yeah, so get your sex worker idol and then just see what she does and stuff. That goes for anything. Or have them one on each site, whatever. It helps. Like a role model. Oh, an anti-role model. Okay, so we're starting a new game right now. Go get whatever alcohol you have in your house, okay? And every time I say also, you have to take a shot. Deal? Goal. Disclaimer on all of the information that I'm about to share with you. My opinion is just my opinion. Um, I know the things that I know or think that I know. 
I'm able to speak from experience. When I was starting in this industry and for like the first five years, there was absolutely no information on the internet or very minimal information. There wasn't how-to videos about e-band or phone sex or, or you know, text chat operators or, or can't, um, I mean, you guys are fucking, you've got an abundance, a wealth of information right now, but everything that I know is because of blood, sweat, and literal fucking tears, okay? So just like, you know, you're welcome. You know, they say the game is to be sold and not told, but we're breaking those fucking rules. You wanna know why? Because I fucking like you, okay? Take it all with a grain of salt because you could very well just be the exception to the rule and, and comment down below if you do and it works out because I wanna know. A lot of what's sold on this site is panties, women's panties, and these are gonna be used panties. The more days you've worn them, the better they are on this site and the more they can sell for. And like what activities you did while wearing them and like also stuffing as a thing. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. You can figure it out. When I first heard about this site, I often heard of girls like, oh, I'm not even gonna wear them for hella days. I'm just gonna put like lotion and put them in the sun and they had like a concoction that would make it look like they've got snail trail on them or something, you know? But like, I mean, these people on this site that are buyers are usually pretty fucking experienced buyers and they're just, I'm telling you right now, I promise you, they are going to know the difference. They smell the difference, they taste the difference, whatever the fuck they do with it, they know that there's a difference. So just don't do that. Don't, don't, don't be a greedy bitch and go to Walmart and buy a six pack of fucking panties and then just try to sell all of them at once because these buyers are gonna click on your username and then they're gonna see all your items listed and then they're gonna bust you out and be like, bitch, I could go to the fucking store and buy a six, pa six pack of panties if I wanted them like that, bitch, but no, I don't. I need them musty and disgusting, okay? Socks are the same exact way. If they can stand up on their own, they're great. Some more items that sell a lot of the time on this website are bathroom trash, foot dust, golden nectar, anything. I can leave that to your imagination. Fudge brownie, anything. And those are how you have to describe them because it's like kind of, those two things are illegal. That's as far as I'm gonna say about that one and then used raincoats and you have to like set that one up like oh they're used by an alpha male because you're such a loser and whatever you know to fuck me and then it, like yeah they have to up and then baby batter um and what they do with them i don't i don't know maybe i don't know jars of spit another hot item toenails i've sold um four cigarette butts i'll put the picture up with lipstick prints on them for sixty dollars one time I don't smoke cigarettes. I got them out of my friend's ashtray and just put my lipstick print on them. But you see what I'm saying? Like get creative, okay? And most of the time when things are sold on this site, if they are a physical item, they're usually packaged in a Ziploc bag or a vacuum sealed bag. And that is to lock in ultimate freshness or that lack thereof. Digital items can also be sold on this site. I don't understand why, but it happens. And the great thing that's gonna help you write your description and stuff like that is if you create a backstory for your little sassy name that you picked. Um, a backstory that's not your actual backstory because just trust me, I know you might think that you don't care right now, but later on down the road, if you continue in this down this fucking road, you're going to want things that are just for you unless you're that special type of crazy. To create a backstory and figure out what kind of type your look is. If you had to type in something to pull up a girl like you on Pornhub, what would it be? Would it be girl next door? What would you describe your character as? And that's gonna help you to write like buzzwords and keywords and descriptions in the ads. Then after that, you can try to think of what your ideal customer would be, figure out how to sell to them. It's all good things to think about. Just be you, there's somebody for everybody. And usually in the fetish community, it's it's the qualities about ourselves that we've been made fun of our whole life or like we think is weird. You've got a lopsided ear, your nose is too fucking big. Like you've got a giant birthmark, whatever that quirky thing is, you that can be definitely equated in the fetish community. But that's your new thing. Like that, that's the thing you advertise, I swear. So I'm gonna go over some do's when making an auction listing. Do be very detailed in the description box. The title only has 60 characters. So you're gonna wanna put words that are searchable. When it comes to pictures, I like to use this app 
that I'll link down in the description called Simple Booth. And it's basically like a photo booth app and it's like, it's a timer and you hit the button and it waits a certain amount of seconds and it takes however many pictures. I choose four because then it sets it up in like a little one, two, three, four that are perfect for these listings. Then what you're gonna do is save those to your photo album and then download the Google Photos app and upload them to Google Photos. And why I say this is because they don't have their own photo hosting on the website and they want to sell you this photo hosting monthly plan that's like fucking $7.99 and that's for the birds. You could just put them on Google and do the same fucking thing with them. So that's what I'd suggest, the free option. Do include like at least four pictures of the item, like all the details of it. If it's got lace, close up on the lace, all that stuff. And also of you using, making, or wearing said item. Also, you can advertise that you're going to sell them a video with the item. Like, oh, I'm selling you these panties and I'm also gonna send the, how many shots did you just take? Hell of them, right? Better be drinking, don't forget. Also, every time I say also. In every auction listing items description, you need to include something about the payment and shipping. When it comes to payment, they do not have their own payment processor. Therefore, you have to outsource. So you're gonna say something like, payments are be are to be made within 48 hours of auction closing via cash app. PayPal, side note, they don't buck with sex workers of any kind, adult entertainment of any kind, and it, it that is the, in their user agreement. So if you get caught, if somebody rats you out, if they for some reason look at it, they will freeze your shit and not give you none of your money and you're fucked because it's against their user agreement. Well, now Venmo, Venmo is the same parent company, but they're two totally different companies. And Venmo's rules are, I don't give a fuck. I didn't see it. It didn't happen. Like basically like they said, I don't care if the card is stolen. I don't care if it's um, a double charge or if it was a mistake or nothing. There's no, no getting it back. PayPal, people can dispute you even if after they've actually gotten, received the item. And it just turns into a whole mess where you're guilty until proven innocent. And that'll be in a video to come. So I would say Cash App, Venmo, uh, Amazon allowance if you have chime but don't don't put obviously your information just out there just mainly tell them that you'll email it to them or put your cash app handle because you never know some people will like that are viewing the listing they might just send it there send some money you know what I mean um, and then shipping and handling you need to say like if you're including a tracking number how many days it will take you to ship out how much your shipping price is and that's basically gonna be paid to yourself for the materials that it costed and the amount that it took for you to be able to mail it and then some extra handling you're the handler whatever but like don't go overboard like you know seven dollars is reasonable like fifteen dollars is, is outlandish unless it's international you can also put like twenty five dollars for that usually you don't have to go too crazy because more often than not the guys round up a little bit and they'll just send like extra and they send that at the time, same time as they pay you for your item. Package them decent, like I said, Ziploc bags or vacuum seal bags, if you can. Don't put your home address or n real name on there as a return address, please. Like, don't eat, you don't even have to put any return address. If it happens to get fucked, it happens to get fucked. Like, you can make up for it somehow. I don't know what to tell you, but like, just don't put your regular shit or put a put PO box if you want to, if you have a PO box. Not necessary though. Like I said, money, cost minimal. Do include a, but make like some some effort to put on there like your Instagram handle or something so somebody can DM you if they have like a custom request or if they want to send you money for fucking nothing or whatever. Do try to make your listings like as uniform and concise and just like visually appealing as possible. Some huge reasons that some auctions don't sell is because if you look at them the text is all fucking over here and over here and the and it just all looks like fucked you'll see what i mean if you just poke around for a little while like that's a big thing like it, certain people see those kinds of web pages and instantly just get physically ill i'm one of those people so try to make it as visually appealing minimal you know you don't have to put the fucking angel fire backgrounds that like froze up everybody's myspace or anything that's not necessary necessary but just make it fucking centered every once in a while and don't type in all caps because old men tend to think that you're screaming at them if you're typing in all caps unless you mean to scream at them but it's not necessary for the whole ad don't put porn in the ad because you're giving too much up that's just my opinion don't get discouraged if your first couple auctions sell for kind of low like five bucks ten bucks you got to get reviews somehow you, people have to vet you as not a scam artist so sometimes you got to like take one for your own team so then there's something called members me pages and that basically is what it sounds like 
like it's just a page about you so normally um i would put like my name big at the top and then a picture of me and then some stats like shoe size bra size height weight you know and then like a blurb or like a little fun introduction and some hobbies and if you want to just throw the shipping and payment on there as well so that was your introduction to ebanjo.net so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and there are no other options besides subscribing and you've already done that so hit the bell and i'll see you in the next video bye